Queen and Slim starts out with a uh, two couple on a date. Uh, Queen and Slim, basically, uh, Slim is just your ordinary guy. He works at Costco. He's very laid back and cool. And Queen is a uh, lawyer who is kind of on edge. And two are on their way home, and they are pulled over by a police officer. And the police officer actually tells them to get out the car so they can search the car because they did a, an improper uh, lane change without signaling. And the, the cop is a bit of a dick. He gets them out the car and he's searching the car even without calls. And Slim asks if he could just hurry it up because it's kind of cold outside and they're in the middle of the winter. And he goes, what did you say? And the cop pulls out his gun and tells him to get on the ground. And Slim gets on the ground with his hands up and Queen gets out the car and says she's going to start recording it and she reaches for her phone and the cop actually shoots her and then Slim gets in a fight with the officer and actually kills the officer. It's a situation where they're completely confused. Um, they are now on the run from the law and they have no idea which way to go upside or down but now they must formulate a plan to actually try to leave the country. And in the midst of all this, they actually become internet pariahs as the first kind of people that are actually fighting the cops back and killing them. So this was like a really powerful movie. Like, uh, I don't want to down, downplay it or sugarcoat it. It was a really great movie. I mean, I actually had this discussion with someone about what if this actually happened in real life? Like, you know, if let's say if you were, you know, out and about and you get pulled over by a cop and they're in the wrong and they start opening fire at you. You're, there's no there's no good way to this ends. Even if you shoot and kill the cop, you're going to jail for the rest of your life. And if you don't shoot and kill the pop, shoot and kill the cop, you die. So it it kind of puts you in a perspective of this could happen to anyone. Especially this movie for black and brown people is is more prevalent because Every time we get pulled over, it could be our last day on earth. And it's it's sad to say that, you know, it's the, it's the truth of our reality. Like, you know, being a black person and getting pulled over by a white police officer, you know, because he thought that we had a gun or we made a shifty move and we're dead. And nine times out of ten, the cop gets off, you know, and, and, and like we've kind of had movies like this before, but not to this extent. Because the thing I loved about this movie that it shot, it, it went like above and beyond like what happens after they kill this cop? What are the next steps they must do to order to like get out the country? Like you know what I'm saying? Like you know they like and then at the same time they kind of become um, internet pariahs. Like everyone starts showing this video of the cop of them killing the cop and they kind of become martyrs. Like you know everyone starts to say you know it, it kind of prime kind of uh, it, it I'm gonna do two analogies of movies. It kind of was I don't know if you guys seen the movie uh, The Hate They Give Us. And that movie, basically, it was kind of the same uh, same thing, basically, except the cop killed a kid and the girl was there, a girl, his girl was there and she got killed in front of him, kind of like the Flando Castillo and almost like the movie Harriet, like, because it's kind of like in this movie, like I'm putting the two together. It was like once they killed this cop, they were on the run and people were kind of like helping them out, like hiding them here, helping them do this, like letting them skate by. It was kind of like those two movies that came, it's like they were like almost runaway slaves, but they were running from the law and people were kind of helping them at certain certain aspects. And some people didn't like what they did, but then like not everyone was there to understand the reason why they did what they did. So it, it was it was a beautiful story. I didn't too much, like everyone says, I didn't like the ending. I understood the ending, but I, that doesn't mean I didn't like it. And there was a couple instances in that movie where the racial tensions got like very high and there was a, a scene in the movie like with a little kid and his and his um, reaction towards a police officer and how that went and that was like I wasn't expecting that like to happen I was like I was like whoa like you know but it just goes to show how how tensions can kind of mount up you know and I thought this was a beautiful performance by Daniel Kula and Jodie Turner Smith she was new uh, I thought her I thought she had a very uh, a wall up through the whole movie. You know, she was kind of like she kind of kind of come off as a bitch like through pretty much the whole movie. But then like you start seeing the layers kind of you know uh, tear down as as the movie goes on. You see why the way she is the way she is, and you kind of like oh I get why she's like that. And I kind of like Daniel Kula Slims. I like I like his role in because he was like laid back cool. He's kind of like every other you know laid back cool guy. Like you know he was kind of thrust in a awful situation like you know it was a lose-lose like you know he doesn't take the, the the gun away from the cop he dies 
she probably dies. He takes a gun away from the cop, kills the cop. They're on the run. So there was literally no win-win. There was only lose-lose in, in either one of the scenarios that played out. You know, uh, even if he did everything by the book. And I think that's this kind of another thing that the, the movie kind of talked. It's like you can do everything by the book and still get shot by a cop or still, you know. And it, and it, and it's, it just sucks, you know, that, that we're in this, like, you know, time and time and period where you know we have to fear getting pulled over by the cops for you know uh like i don't want to get shot and killed for riding past the stop sign like that like in my words my life is more valuable than than getting killed for something like that and you know in it, it, it's it's just kind of it just sucks but it was a beautiful movie now the one thing i will say is that um his name is boheme wabi uh no boheme woodbine uh, he plays Uncle Earl. Uh, we know him from like Jason's lyrics and, and other older movies that he's been in. He was great in this movie. Now, if they do bring out Oscar nominations, I think he should get uh, a role for Best Supporting Actor. I loved his performance in this movie as he was uh, Queen's um, uncle in the movie. And you start getting his uh, uh, aspect of things that he's like a war veteran and he's just... He's just like all over the place, and but I loved his role, and that's nothing I like about this movie is that it didn't have a very big cast, so like you know most of it was centered around Queen and Slim, and you know you had like I say the Uncle uh, Uncle Earl, who was basically like kind of like the only other main kind of character in this movie, um, but so I, I did like I said this was a great movie, like um, like I, I I don't have any really bad things to say about this movie. It was. It was it was probably one of the best moves I've seen. It's a very powerful movie. I think that I I would have liked it to done bigger numbers. I think it only made like sixteen million, um, especially as like everyone's blown out, blown up, everyone's blown it up, and everyone's talking about it. I figured at least probably would have made like you know thirty forty million. I think that would have been really good for radar movie, especially for black folks to go support our own and and you know kind of like get out like get out did. A really good numbers and I kind of you know even though it's not a scary movie it's more of a realistic movie so I did want the movie and it came out on Thanksgiving weekend I did thought it was going to do bigger numbers but nevertheless people are still going to support this movie they're still going to go see it I think it's a very good movie I think everyone should go support and see it so drop me some comments guys let me know what you guys thought about this movie um did you have you seen it yet if you have seen it like I said let me know what you thought about it if not let me know once you see it. Let me know what you guys thought about it. As always, Mr. Movie X is out, and I'll talk to you guys.